Welcome to Shibuya! Welcome to one of the biggest Starbucks in the world. So this Starbucks spans over four floors and over 30,000 square feet. We forget to mention, it has a bar. So I chose the espresso martini flight, which comes with their classic espresso martini, a citrus, and then a Madeira wine and black pepper. And they look so tasty. I'm gonna try the Madeira wine one first. There's like black pepper, fresh black pepper on top. Okay, this might be one of the most unique espresso martinis I've ever had, and I've had a lot. That is so tasty. Next up is the citrus. Ooh. Oh my god, this is be like a really tasty breakfast drink. It's actually a little on the sweet side. It's pretty good. And then the classic. Ooh. I think this one's made with date syrup. Um, instead of simple syrup, which gives it a really unique flavor, but it's really tasty. And I got the new Tokyo Fashion. It's got whiskey, umashu, which is uh, plum wine, a little syrup, and then cold brew coffee. It's got a little curry leaf garnish. Mm. It's like, you got that like uh, plum wine flavor to it, on top of the whiskey, and got like a little spice on the nose, so really good. When Starbucks decided to expand internationally, Japan was the first of the country they chose. I'd like to say a big thank you to our friend Fred Snyder. Fred, thank you for buying us those coffee drinks and sending us here to the roastery. We really appreciate you and we miss you. Southside Shibuya Crossing is the uh, Hachiko Memorial. So it's dedicated to an Akita that used to wait for his owner after he passed away for 10 years until he finally passed away. So it's a statue of loyalty and commitment to his owner. And now we're gonna go brave Shibuya Crossing. Mini Shibuya. Mini Shibuya. Who buys CDs anymore? Is that a thing? It's records. Like vinyl? Yeah. Shibuya's been fun, but now it's time to check out somewhere a little more interesting. This is the 
cool. There's so many cool, unique shops and fun things to do here. We don't buy souvenirs very often, but every time we come across one, it's just so cute. This is a magnet, which we don't have a fridge to put a magnet on, but this has everything. Mount Fuji, Lucky Cat, there's a shrine, a geisha, and there's only 500 yen. So cute. I'm so happy. <laughs> So they got in candy. Oh, yeah. Time for a sweet treat. You just want this one? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll get yeah. what my baby wants, my baby gets. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I did not know. Did you know it's gonna be this big? No. Oh my gosh. It's made it special. Wow, arigato. Thank you. <laughs> is it good? It's very good. Oi, how they say? Oishi? What does that mean? Delicious? Delicious. Mm. And very kawaii. Cute. <laughs> so funny. I'm gonna have a cavity by the end of this. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, though, hmm. it was the most delicious cotton candy I've ever had in my entire life. All, every color was a different flavor, too. Should I try it from the top? Okay. Mmm, strawberry. It's our next stop. Food. <laughs> this is not food. We're both hungry. Turn the den in there, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Lemon, you can go ahead and just stamp that fail stamp right on me because I've ruined the cotton candy. Ah, this is not how you do it. <laughs> Where are we going, Evan? Been in Tokyo for almost a week and we have yet to have sushi, so we're gonna try out one of the most popular spots. This is the best day of my life. So we've come to Kura Sushi, which is like a conveyor belt sushi. When we walked in the door, there's like a machine, you put in how many people are at your table, and then they print out a number with your table on it, go to that table, and that's like completely private dining. And now we just go for a little sushi. Oh. Okay. Everything that comes by though is like empty. <laughs> but I think there's a QR code on the table that you can scan and then order things directly to your table. So we've ordered two highballs and we're gonna get our Oh. Oh. Here's our eyeballs. Thanks, bartender. And bye. bye, -bye. So I'm gonna do a little tuna, tuna yoko. It's like soft boiled egg and tuna. Yeah, it's like breakfast sushi. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Brunch sushi. Brunch sushi. And the fun thing about Kura is once your plate's empty, you put in this little guy. And every five plates, you get a chance to play a game. Oh. 
Got a winner. It's a little teeny tiny keychain. Little girl playing soccer. Time for another shooting game. Thank you, bartender. You're welcome. So what was the drink? Chew high lemon. Oh, that is tasty. I don't know exactly like what, if it's like a liquor, is it those things I've seen in cans at Mosses? Yeah. Ah, that's tasty. I think tasty. it might be like a highball variant. Of like lemon and, I don't know, it's delicious. We got our bill. We have 15 sushi plates, one bowl of miso soup, and three cocktails, and our total came to 3,520 yen, or $26.24, which is ridiculous for all that food. $13 a person. Right, the fun place about Kura is... The fun what? place? <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> 